Hello everybody, welcome to the Milwaukee County Zoo. I'm sure you can hear the music in the background. That means we are at the Zoo a la carte. That's right, there's a food festival here this weekend. Plenty of bands, plenty of foods. Look at the tents. Look at everything else. We got bands, tons of foods. We've got ourselves a program festival, a festival program, and we're gonna check everything out and take you along with us. Come along, let's cook up something amazing. First thing as we walk in, look at this. Playing a little good music. We got a band here playing in the sound stage. first area of food tents and look at this they are all set up right over here funnel cakes longs walk tons of different food tents check out the prices we got a map we're gonna check everything out there as well see what's going on as well let's take a look at what they all have to eat grab some food all right our first stop of the day is at cafe de sol you can see they got a bunch of stuff on the menu, some cheese and beef quesadillas, chicken and pork, porter, rice and beans, Cuban sandwiches, tons of different stuff on the menu. And uh, let's get set from here and start out the day with some good food. All right, we have made our selection. We got the chicken pincho, and it is barbecue chicken on a stick with a piece of bread for $5. Now let's give it a try and see how it is. All right, just give you a little review on what this is. This is fantastic. This is basically barbecued chicken on a stick. And you can see I took a couple bites of it out already and absolutely fantastic. I would definitely eat this again. As our first item of the day at the zoo a la carte. All right, so while we're here, we just ate at the Cafe El Sol. Fantastic chicken pincho, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, for five bucks. That chicken on the stick we just showed you. Right next to it is the Ultimate Confections, the Lori Murphy's Chocolates. So they have a website right up there and the menu. A couple of different things. They have uh, ice cream sundaes with one scoop for six bucks. Blue Mountain Sunday or Turtle Sunday for $8.50. Cheesecake for $6.50. Other cheesecake for $8.50. Ice cream bars. Turtle ice cream bar, peanut butter dream ice cream bar, chocolate covered strawberries. Oh, there you go. A bear claw, pecan or cashews for six bucks. A turtle chocolates, two dollars. And chocolate dipped pretzel rods. Oh, fantastic. Why not? We're gonna have to pick some of this up later. But uh, just a good shot of what everything kind of looks like here. She's good. Some sundaes. Ice cream sundaes. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be back for this later. Some chocolate tipped strawberries. There's the cheesecake. Turtle cheesecake and peanut butter cheesecake. And then in the back there, they have some other stuff. Ice cream bars, peanut butter ice cream bars, turtles, and uh, some bear claws and some pretzel rods from Ultimate Confections. We'll be back later to check this out. And we've come to the best thing for the day today. Which is Saz's. You got it, Saz's. We saw the Summerfest video, you saw we went to Saz's. And look at this. Saz's, they've got the uh, signature bowl, bold braised pork sandwich for $9. 
a chicken sandwich for nine dollars, chicken tenders for seven, sour cream and chai fries for five, mozzarella for six, and they have the huge, awesome wonton mozzarella sticks. Beer battered cheese curds for eight bucks, which are also fantastic, and some Sazz's raspberry lemonade for five dollars. Oof! Get ready for Sazz's. We're gonna try some of this. And Sazz's, six dollars gave us two of the wonton mozzarella sticks. Absolutely fantastic as always. So good. It's got the thick block of cheese in there, the wonton wrap, tons of marinara. They pull over the top, and it was fantastic. We're going to continue on. Check out the zoo. Check out all the food here at the zoo, a la carte. Right next to Saz is this Wong's Walk. A bunch of different stuff they have here. Pork and shrimp egg rolls, $3.50. Some veggie egg rolls for three. Crab ragoon for seven. Wong sampler, where you get an egg roll. One ragoon and one fried chicken for $7.50. Sesame chicken with white rice. Wong's fried chicken with white rice. Chicken fried rice, nine dollars, and fortune cookies at dollar fifty. That's what they have here at the Wong's Walk tent, which is right next to Saz's. And this is all located right in front of the zoo shop here, in the uh, exit and entrance to the zoo. And here we're next to the Wong's Walk and Saz's tent, and they basically have a Lion and Kugel summer shanty area, and uh, they basically have a bunch of beers. You can see there, Miller Lite, Genuine Draft, Summer Shanty, Lakefront, and uh, soda. And they got looks like they got pretzels and popcorn and stuff available here. So just tons of different stuff. And the guy is stocking the beer full up. They've got a whole bar set up for later. And then we're gonna move right next door. Right next door is the funnel cake factory. And you can see literally you heard it, funnel cakes. Powdered sugar, funnel cake sundae, churros, icy, bottled beverages. Basically a funnel cake for eight bucks. Uh, you can kind of see what they look like up there. And let's take a closer look. Hey, we have made our way past the zoo entrance a little bit, right next to the Expeditions tent. And here they're selling root beer floats. That's it, yep, you heard it. A $5 root beer float, which we will be back for later after we get some food. And it's right here next to the Meyer Zoo Expeditions, Expeditions tent. And this is right over to the where we were here by the stage. We are headed to the bird aviary area, and here is the Fresh Daily Soup Market. Soup, yep, you got it. They have soup. A couple of different soups. You can see right there. Loaded baked potato, African peanut, chicken, vegetarian, tomato bisque, lasagna soup. They got some grilled cheese, kids grilled cheese. Look at the giant Rice Krispie treats, cookies, and lemonade. Look at this. Look at this giant Rice Krispie treat, mother of God, and a giant cookie. Uh, definitely on the list for later, along with fresh squeezed lemonade here at the supermarket. All right, here's something fun. Uh, I don't normally ever see this popcorn stand open, and there is a line, and oh boy, can you smell the popcorn. Yep, $7 for popcorn or $5 for some hub of cotton candy right there. Look at that. Just because it's a la carte doesn't mean you can't get normal food. More food at the popcorn stand. Oh, it smells fantastic. And right across from the popcorn stand, we have a Dippin' Dots ice cream penguin cart. This cart is actually usually over where Saz's is, so it looks like they moved it. Nothing fancy, just a couple of different things. Drinks, snacks, some Dippin' Dots ice cream for seven bucks. Got some pretzels with cheese for seven bucks, bottled beverages five, popcorn five, and cotton candy five. So just another cart. And again, you can see what the uh, price of the Dippin' Dots is here. And uh, actually it says $7 up there. You can see the prices there for a big one and a small one have changed. And then they also got some cups of cheese, pretzels, and stuff over here. And that's the Dippin' Cots ice cream penguin cart. All right, we've made it to the next section of the food festival. We are right here in front of the reptile fish building. And they've got the Woody stage. Got some singing going on up there. Tons of 
seating and three more food tents. So let's check it out and see what they have. the bubble waffle shop tons of different type of bubble waffles you can see the little example they have right down there comes in a cup you can get them with uh looks like chicken and bubble grilled cheesy bubble bubble waffle ice cream on has ice cream two toppings and some drizzle for 10 bucks ice cream cup jumbo cookies some fresh squeezed lemonade strawberry lemonade bunch of lemonade bunch of tea drinks a couple different things, mainly bubble waffles here at the bubble waffle shops. And here we have Milwaukee Asian street food. Egg rolls, three bucks. Hot sticker, dumplings. Crab goons. Fresh veggie spring rolls. Chicken fried rice. Sweet sour chicken. You see all the prices, all 10 bucks. Wonton nachos, $10. Bunch of different stuff here. Put them in the the Milwaukee Asian street food. And they're making everything back there in the walk. Ooh, fantastic fresh squeezed lemonade. Literally, old fashioned fresh squeezed lemonade or strawberry lemonade. That sounds fantastic also. Here at the Milwaukee Asian street food tent. Here's our next tent over here. We have Screamer's Pizza. And uh, $6 for a slice, veggie pepperoni or sausage. And uh, Six dollars for breadsticks with sauce. The other two items they have are either no longer available or they just don't have. So pretty simple, pizza. So we've come down a little bit, just up the walkway, and kind of see where we're at here. Just past the reptile building. We've made it to the a la crepe stand. Pretty simple. Not much to it, banana crepe, eight bucks. Strawberry creep, eight bucks, and the deluxe creep with cream and nuts, ten bucks. Here at the Olive Crepe Stand. And this is a number on the map, actually, so Woody's Custard. It's like four fifty for some ice cream, chocolate, or vanilla. Nothing fancy. And of course, Wild Burger Milwaukee, that is open normally during the zoo. But the main reason is we've come to the Liney Lodge. Look at this. The Liney Lodge is up here and ready to serve you for your beer needs. Looks like Miller Lite, Summer Shanty, and just some popcorn. And somebody who is good to be on the video. All right, look at this. We have made it to where the elk and the caribou hang out. And look at the peacock. Oh, cool. Tons of people over here. You can see tents lined up over there. You can see tents all the way over here. Looks like they got meat on the street. Carl Daddy's on Greenfield, Thunder Bay Grill. There's nothing but cakes over there and a couple more tents that we're gonna check out here at the food festival. We're at Craw Daddy's on Greenfield. A couple of things they have here. Jambalaya, it's with smoked chicken, tassel ham, and sausage. We got some gator bites, 10 bucks, beignets for 10 bucks. And uh, this is kind of comical. They must have had a thousand questions already. Is the gator real? Because it says, yes, the gator is real. Yeah, gator bites, real alligator. And the gator is real. Look at this. Yeah, hot honey sauce, beignets, powdered sugar, strawberry sauce, the jambalaya, has andouille sausage, and chicken and ham. Oh, look at that. Thank you very much. $10. Yeah, and we're going to get some of the beignets. There we go. Here we have the Thunder Bay Grill, which is right next to the crawfish. They got jambalaya with andouille sausage also for 10 bucks. Coconut shrimp for eight bucks, cheese curd for $7, and a loaded baked potato soup for six bucks. Here at the Thunder Bay Grill tent, which looks fantastic. And here we have nothing but cakes. Literally six bucks for some cakes. And versus telling you what they have, I'm just gonna show you because they have tons of different flavors. Chocolate chip, lemon, red velvet, strawberries and cream, chocolate chip. We've had these a thousand times over and over. They are so good. 
They have nothing but cake. Six bucks. And then we stopped and got some beignets. It was $10. We got four of those suckers. A little cup of strawberry sauce. Some powdered sugar. Absolutely fantastic. Beignets. Ooh, so good. Some powdered sugar. Nice, nice moist on the inside. As we're sitting here listening to some music. So we're still over here by the elk. We haven't made it down to the bears yet where those tents are and the beer garden is, or the bear garden. And look at the size of the stage and seating area they have set up here. Good old band playing up there. Rizzy Hard Seltzer, just hanging out listening to some good music. So good. We're gonna head on down here and check out some of the tents down here. We we're over here checking on these tents over here still. Again, we grab some beignets and uh, let's see what else they have to try. And because we're at the zoo, can't stop without checking out the elk caribou section and they are just moving around back there. How cool is that? A lot of times you don't see them moving, you just see them perched up against the wall over here, or over here. But yeah, they're back there moving around. And right next to the stage here, we have a nice little eating area, which is always here, it's next to the bear garden. A couple different things they get going on. And up here, we have some more tents. One more tent, a couple more tents, and it looks like the ooze truck is open and there's also a food truck here, but first we'll stop here. This looks like it's the, uh, just a beer tent, the Miller Lite, Blue Moon, Line of Kugels, the water soda, pretzel and a cheese cup. So get your beer at the tent next to the bear garden, pun intended. And here at the bear garden, this is where the Caribou Wine Bar is located. It's one of the stops here see some of the menus here basically seven to nine fifty for some wine and Arnold Palmer is nine fifty so wine and Chardonnay at the wine bar and we have made it to the pigtails food truck look at this not your average taco joint and a uh, bunch of different stuff on the menu here steak tacos nine bucks chicken tacos braised pork portobello tacos Buffalo chicken tacos, a bunch of different stuff at the Pig's Tail food truck. As we're walking along, we're coming to the lake. And you can see they've got a ton of picnic tables set up here. Tons of places to eat. Just tons of stuff because we are coming up to the next section of food tents. And oh boy, are we excited for some of these up here. All the different food options they have. Uh, we have made it to the Salantini's Pizza Tent. Pretty basic here, seven bucks for some pizza, seven dollars for cheese, seven dollars for pepperoni, and a loaded soft pretzel. Let's take a look here. Look at this. Pizza looks fantastic. Look at the pretzels. Loaded with mac and cheese, cheese, bacon, and just goodness. Those look fantastic. And pretty basic at this tent. Just some sweet corn. Basic stick of corn that they make fresh back there. And they've got some seasoning you can put on it. And uh, they obviously drench it in a load full of butter. Sweet corn for four bucks. You can see that's here right next to the other tents we were just looking at. Right by the 411 Nourish section. We have now made it just outside of 414 Nourish. And of course the chicken coop is here. It's a normal staple during the week. But what we're really looking at here is the Oricon Bank Landing New Landing. And next to it is another food tent. And this is the Shwarma House chicken, beef, hummus, Baja, 
French fries, loaded fries. Because they tons of other stuff they have up there to eat, kids meals. A couple of different things here. And we have entered the Africa area. And look at this. Meyer, which is a huge sponsor of the zoo, is here. And what are they giving out? They're giving out some hand sanitizer. Why not? Free hand sanitizer? A huge bouncy chair? A huge packer chair? And look at this. Those are some huge beanbag tosses. They are inflatable beanbag tosses. Look at that. Badgers, Meyer, he wants us to come play, so we're gonna play. Look at this. Beanbag toss in the inflatable version. Let's see how we do. All right, I just got done playing the beanbag toss. It's kind of hard to hold the camera and do it at the same time, but I got them all in, all five of them in the beanbag toss. As Meyer, a huge sponsor here at the zoo, showing us some love. We've come to the uh, Mama Bev's Bakery. It's a St. Louis gooey buttercream on a stick. We weren't gonna order any, but they have free samples. And this kid here made us order it. Um, so you can see it's four bucks. And the guy had us put some raspberry on it. And let's take a look and see what it is. And we're here, we made it through the Chic American. A couple of different things. Shrimp, steak tacos. Just for an effect on how cool this is, right here are a bunch of the tents that we are uh, sitting here eating at. We've actually acquired a awesome little seat, and right through there are the zebras. We have made it around to the last two booths of the side. Huge shaved ice sign, pretty simple, four bucks. And La Masa and the empanada stand for five dollars. And here in front of the elephant building, and in front of the elephant okay. care center, right here, we have made it to the wine tent and they're taking a break. And we are walking up past the animal barn up to the front. Just thought I'd show you because this is not not a view that you get very often. It is late at night. The sun has set. And we are still at the zoo. Usually you're out of here by quarter to five, five o'clock. But no, we're still here. Hanging out at the food festival. And all the stuff that's still out, all the things for sale. We're gonna probably check out some more food tents. Funnel Cake Factory, back to Wong's Walk or Saz's, and uh, maybe some more bands. Let's check more stuff out and get something else to eat. Also something we never really see because we're not here at night. Look at this. The trees are lit up with a nice blue in front of the reptile building. How cool is that? We are right in front of the reptile building here. See in a blue light. We've got another music stage. And we're gonna check on some more of these food tents here and see what they got going on. There's the Woody stage. Heard some music before. Looks like there's gonna be a pianist, a pianist playing. And the pizza, Asian street food, and the bubble waffle. Well, we just attempted to get a crepe for the first time. And they are out of strawberries already for the night. First night, unfortunately, out of strawberries. So, we'll carry on and head back around again to the next food station and see what else we can find. All right, we got some mood from food from meat on the street. Oh, I'm so excited. We got the three chicken kebabs. It was $10. Marinated meat, skewered and grilled. Super excited. A little music playing in the background. 
we're hanging out with the caribou and the elk. Just having some fun. So we'll show you what the food looks like when it gets here. All right, so this is where the party is. The main stage. The tents are right here. The music's right here. And the chicken kebabs are right here. Let's give them a try and see how they work. Free for 10 bucks while we jam out. Jam out.
one last look. The concert just wrapped up. They're closing. Beer tents are up. They are selling lighted swords of some sort. The cheese ooze for the love of cheese cart is still open. And there we are, heading out from the Waukee County Zoo. They say greetings, we say good night. As we are walking through the zoo in the dark, can't even see the bears to our left. Just look at the difference at night here at the zoo. There's red lights over here. You hear all the sounds and more music ahead. All right, we've made it back over to more food on our way out. Everything's still kind of open up here. Funnel Cake Factory, the beer stuff, Long's Walk. There's a stage over here, tons of people. I'm gonna take a look and see what they have before we head out. And we stopped back at Saz's. And we got some cheese curd, eight bucks. Cheese curds and some sauce. Absolutely fantastic as we end our night here at the Zoo a la Carte. All right, we are headed out. And you can see the Milwaukee County Zoo backwards. Some cool lighting here at night. Look at it, blue trees, green trees. But thanks for watching the video today as we checked out the Zoo a la Carte. Make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more adventures we cook up here on the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.